In part six of calculus explorations, we look at continuity. Last time we looked at the limit of a function y equals f of x as we approach x equals x sub zero. And what we discovered was the limit from the left and the limit from the right had to both exist and they had to be equal. And then we could say the limit as x goes to zero of f of x is y sub zero. And we also discussed that a limit is just a prediction. It's our way of saying, here's what we think f of x sub zero is. We say that f is continuous at x sub zero if the prediction is correct. In other words, f is continuous at x sub zero if the limit as x goes to x sub zero of f of x is f of x sub zero. We've seen that sometimes we can't even make a prediction. In one case, we had this function cos pi over x, whereas we get close to zero from either side, the function oscillates more and more. We can't even predict where it's gonna land at x equals zero. On the other hand, we could have a case like this where from the right, f of x is approaching one value and from the left, it's approaching a different value. If the limit from the left doesn't equal the limit from the right, there's no way we can make a prediction and say, here's what we think f of x will be at x equals that value. On the other hand, sometimes we can make a prediction. In the case of this function, which was f of x equals cos pi x, whether we approach from the left or the right, the y values were going to the same value. And now the final piece, when we remove that little mask, if the prediction actually equals the value, in that case, we say the function is continuous at the point. On the other hand, if the prediction doesn't equal the value, then the function isn't continuous at the point. So to sum up, the limit must exist, that's our prediction, and the limit must equal the value. That's when we have continuity, and we say that f is continuous at x sub zero. Let's formalize this as we've done in the past. f is continuous at x sub zero if you pick any value of epsilon, some small range around where you expect the y value to be, for that epsilon, there's some delta, so that if your x is close enough to x sub zero, then your f of x will be close enough to f of x sub zero. And in that case, f is continuous. The limit exists, and the limit is f of x sub zero. And now you understand all these fancy symbols. You might ask, is that all there is to limits and continuity? And I'd say, well, essentially that's it. I mean, there's always more. But again, essentially, that's it. A limit is a prediction, and a function is continuous at a point if the prediction equals the actual value.